to me, the idea of a Lasallian is that when we come together as like a force and we do a lot of service works together. Being a Lasallian in these current times, it means that we should be always ready to lend a helping hand to those who need it and try to spread positivity. Uh, 呃, I actually felt that was a part of big a big family that tries to um do something for the world. We're actually the bridge between the people who help and those who are in need. My opinion is mean setting a good example for classmates, uh, living together and helping each other. Our uh, Lasallian family is uh, unique from other uh, other. People. And I'm going to be in this family for like a very long time. Enjoy very much working with the people who are very dedicated to uh, the work of uh, our Lasallian youth. Um, I have been working as a youth or a young Lasallians coordinator here in my country uh, for five years already. Uh, you know, I never experienced of traveling and being together. Last year was a blessing in disguise that we got to meet many more people and we got to virtually travel. Or before COVID, you know. Uh, we, we only relied on on the financial capability of a person to you know, to meet other coordinators. But this COVID gave us uh, an idea that you know we could meet anytime if we really want to meet. We meet more often <laughs> compared with the past ten years. Like for this year, we have uh, organized uh, Thursday with La Salle, and then we continue on with our line or uh, La Salle International experience that we created, I mean, some module and some program for our uh, young La Salians, for them to know more about La Salle, as well as also to, to know more about uh, La Salle youth in seven countries of our district. I think we meet like almost every two weeks. We will have two hours of meetings already. One thing for us is we don't have our youth coordinator for LEAD. We have been working well as, as different country coordinators. I enjoy to working with you guys because like we are like a friend, like, like a big family also. We work together and then we support each other. So that is what I really enjoy in 2020. You know, spending time with the youth coordinators because we've all got so many stories to talk about. Uh, it's not just about the stories of the COVID that's taking place in our countries, but um, also what's happening uh, within us. Very grateful that I got to like, learn a lot more about your reality. And uh, especially now when the new normal, you don't even know when or what is the school calendar like. I'm thankful that we have these kinds of things because it reminds us who are, who are here that wait, don't, don't give up on it just yet, okay. um, that there there will be others willing to work with you. So I'm glad 
uh, that I had a chance to to uh, chit chat with Brother Matthew, Brother Joseph, and Brother Nico. You know, um, uh, although I've heard the names of these brothers before, but this was this was my first time uh, having a chance to you know see who they really are and 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 to chit chat with them. Working with fellow coordinators was a humbling and memorable experience. It was an opportunity to experience and learn methods on how we can form our young Lasallians. So they're still very young, <laughs> but um, but after but after their line experience, I think seeing them and how much they're open to working and uh, listening to other stories at least from the seven countries that was very inspiring for me as a missionary as a brother to attend a meeting that's um such so humongous and a lot of people joining that was the first time it was really um fun um i could uh, meet a lot of people from um all over the world so i think that was a good experience for uh, all the lasallians despite how we grew up because we all grew up in different places so we had different mannerisms and cultures and all that and yet all together we had the same aspiration which was to understand and follow the ways of a, uh, and learn the values of the lasallian those events really contributed a lot for my growth as a lasallian because it instilled in me like my passion for service and helping others as well and to fulfill their missions as well. So I could connect with other Lasallians and connect with other Lasallians and help other people and help people to understand the Lasallians. When we were in the school, we had a lot of people who had to come to the school ไม่ให้ใครเข้ามาก็ได้ต้องเป็นคนที่มีอุณหภูมิต่ำกว่า37องศาเท่านั้นแล้วก็คนที่มากกว่า37องศาจะต้องไม่ให้เข้าโรงเรียน That would be a testimony of uh, the youth coordinators coming together and doing something. In the near future, we hope that we can work face to face and we can come up with a a program with face to face so that we can nurture more our l a s a l i n mission. There's so much hope, but the thing is. Um, it cannot rely on one person, <laughs> or it cannot rely on a group of people. Uh, I'm looking forward to get to have more the Salian, uh, young Salian here to get involved and become more uh, uh, active or the Salian that so that we we will be able to build a uh, a strong the Salian family here. Also, we can get involved with our uh, our district. And I think that is a good thing for. Our district to keep young because we hear what the young people say. Thank you so much for these opportunities, and I hope there would be more in the future, especially after this pandemic and when it's over. I think by doing it more, more people want to join because it's going to be a routine, a really life routine. So I think they should expand more so that more people can know about lead and actually make a difference. To work with. Uh, maybe more countries, or maybe even more students. My hope for lead is that it would encourage the young Lasallians to be more active because we want to break the walls of each country and make the youth realize that hey, there's a bigger world out there, and there are a lot of Lasallians who are just like you, who is willing to help, who is willing to engage. Willingness of to learn, uh, to get to know of uh, what it means to be a Lasallian, and who's really enthusiastic to build bridges. So my hope for lead is that uh, it touches more young people to participate in uh, in different areas in 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 our world.